Hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about the 306090s. Uh, I did a review yesterday on the 454590s, so now we're going to talk about the <coughs> excuse me, 306090s. So, <coughs> excuse me. The 306090s are the other set of special right triangles. Okay, so we did 454590s, now we're doing 306090s. So, uh, this would be 30, this would be 60. So the short leg will be the leg opposite the 30 degree angles. In this case, it's here. And this would be our X. Okay, I'm gonna just use X for that, okay? The hypotenuse, which is uh, the, the, the side of the triangle that's opposite the 90 degree angle, that's gonna be double the length of the short leg, okay? And the longer leg, which is the leg opposite the 60 degree angle, that's gonna be X times the square root of three, okay? And that's gonna be the formula we use, all right? So, and again, just like the 45, 45, 90s, very often uh, they will not tell you all three angles. They'll give you two of them and you have to figure it out. So, you have to be able to recognize it. So, uh, now we're going to go right to it. Uh, just like before, we're going to get rid of these variables because they're confusing us. And I ran 60 here. And now we just assign our variables. So, I know this is the short, this is the smaller angles, this is the short sides, this is x. That means this is 2x. And that means this is x radical 3. Okay? So if this is x radical 3, x is clearly 5, right? But I can always solve that algebraically. I can always do that. So 5 radical 3 equals x radical 3. And if I want to get x by itself, I simply divide both sides by radical 3. And I'm going to be left with 5, which we can kind of do. Can do that, right? So the shorter length would be 5, OK? And we know this is double this length, because this is 2x is x, so it's double 5, it's going to be 10. And that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. So this is 60, that's 90, it means this is 30. So the side opposite, and then again, let's get rid of these variables. The side opposite the 30 degree angle will be the uh, x. This will be 2x, and this will be x radical 3. It's not bad when they give us the x, as you'll see. So this is 2, that means 2 times 2 is 4. And then this is two, it's going to be 2 radical 3. It's really nice when it's just an integer and they give you the, uh, the shorter leg. All right, number 5. So we have 30 here. This will be 60. Let's cross out our variables. So this is 2x because that's the hypotenuse. This will be x and this will be x radical 3. So 2x is 2, x is two so 2x equals 2. Divide both sides by 2 to solve for x. Let me see where this is going and x is equal to 1, so that means this is 1, and this is x radical 3, so 1 radical 3 is just radical 3, okay? All right, let's take a look at 7. So 30 here, cross these out, that means this is x, this is 2x, and this is x radical 3. So 2 times this would be, let's say, 2 times... 9 over 2, this would cancel, this would be 9. So this is 9. And this times radical 3 would simply be 9 radical 3 over 2. OK. So as you can see, as we're doing this, first thing you do is identify where the angles are. Then you assign the variables. And then you simply solve. So it, it all depends on what they give you in terms of what you solve for. OK. So and again, you can see why these variables would be confusing, because they're using x and yeah. So 30 here. All right, this is our short side, this is our hypotenuse, and this is our long side. Okay, so this is x, so 2 times that, so 7 over 2 times 2 would be 7, so this is 7. This times radical 3 would just be simply 7 radical 3 over 2. Okay. And then let's go to the back side. I should probably leave that on the screen for a second, sorry. Get sure following along here. Okay, so number 11, cross these variables out. This is 30, so this is our long, sorry, this is our short side up here. This is double that, and this is x radical 3. Okay, now this will be a little more interesting. So x radical 3 is equal to 7. So this may remind you of some of the problems that were trickier with the 45, 45, 90. So when it says it's equal to x radical 3, so x radical 3 is equal to 7, and I have to divide both sides by radical 3. x is equal to 7 over radical 3. 
And now we need to get rid of that radical in the denominator, so we're going to multiply the top and bottom by radical 3, because that's equal to 1, so we're not changing anything's value here. So x is equal to 7 radical 3 in the top, and then radical 3 times radical 3 is simply 3. So it's 7 radical 3 over 3, and that would be our uh, x value. So 7 radical 3 over 3. Now this is going to be double that, so 7 radical 3 over 3 times 2 is simply going to be 14 radical 3 over 3. So this is a little more challenging one. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this one. Um, cross these out. This is 30. Okay, so this is x, this is 2x, and this is x radical 3. So 2x, that means x is 6, right? Because, yeah, yeah, this is 6, and this is 6 radical 3. Because this is half that, so I can solve for it though. So 2x equals 12. Divide by 2, x equals 6. Yep, there you go. So that one's not too bad. 15, let's cross these out. 60 here. All right, so this is x, this is 2x, this is x radical 3. And again, this is not too bad because you can see that x is clearly 2. Because x radical 3, 2 radical 3, so x is 2. 2x two would be 4. Okay. And 17. Let's cross these variables out. So 60. So this is going to be x because it's opposite the 30. This is x radical 3, and this is 2x. So this is 4. That means this is 8, and this is 4 radical 3. It's not. It's really not that bad if they give you the short side because then you can just modify it, whereas you have to solve for the short side otherwise. Okay, last one. Uh, this is 30, so that means this is x. This is 2x, and this is x radical 3. So 2x is 10, that means x is 5, and this is 5 radical 3. So really, the only one that was kind of really tricky was 11, right? Just because it involved getting rid of the, the uh, radical in the denominator. Right? So hopefully, guys, I hope that uh, alleviates some concerns with special right triangles. We're going to move on to trigonometry next. So thanks again.